God, I have two videos I have to upload in tandem. God, kill me. Anyway, I checked it, and I have no idea what happened. The server, oh my, my, uh, my internet connection was fine, so I'm assuming it was just an issue with the server. But the server is back up immediately, so I have no idea what just happened. There, good as new. Lord Angrel, my interrogation is complete. Transmitting my report to you now. Your efficiency will be noted. Take Dr. Gudera to Droman Kass. I have plans for him. You never mentioned you were working for Angrel. What is this? Explain yourself, Watcher. To ensure mission success, I compromised with the Jedi. He's here for the Doctor. You compromised with the Jedi vermin who killed my son? You escaped me on Ord Mantel and Nashada. You will not be so fortunate this time. You talk a big game from across the galaxy, Angrel. We'll be face to face soon enough. You will beg for mercy. Watcher, bring me this filth alive. I will kill him myself. Respectfully, my lord. I'm duty bound to honor our bargain. Don't trifle with me. I want that Jedi. Very well, Lord Angrel. I apologize for reneging on our deal, but I have orders. You understand? I recommend you surrender. Give me Dr. Gadara. Walk away while you still can. We seem to be at an impasse. This is not the ending I would have chosen. Again, Darth Angrel underestimates you. Twenty years, I've avoided becoming a casualty of Sith madness. But an order is an order. I wish these events could have ended better. I served the Empire as best I could. I have no regrets. Regardless, you are the victor here. How do you wish to proceed? I'll hand you over to the Republic military. You'll be a prisoner of war. My loyalties forbid that. But you've been a worthy adversary. I won't ask you to tarnish yourself by killing me. Farewell, Jedi. Dr. Gadara, are you all right? I'm a Jedi Knight sent by General Varsuthra to rescue you. Varsuthra? That old man never gives up, does he? The Imperials gave me a Class IV Truth Serum. Don't remember the interrogation, but I fear they learned too much. I suppose you plan to take me back to Coruscant? I left for good reason, you know. We need you, Doctor. The Republic is endangered. It's been endangered since that idiotic treaty. The Sith Empire only sought a strategic pause in the fighting. Time to gather strength for a final crushing blow. The Senate ignored my projections. I refuse to serve such monumental ignorance. The Republic leaders are fools. We never should have backed down from the Sith. Peace with the Empire is impossible. The evidence surrounds us. If it hasn't started already, all-out war is imminent. I'm ready to face what's coming. Perhaps it is time I returned. Finish the war and wipe out the Empire for good.
Welcome to Terrace. I'm Governor Suresh. On behalf of the Galactic Republic, I want to thank you for joining us in this historic project. For your safety, please do not travel beyond the military-secured safe zone outside the settlement. This world and our work here will shine as a beacon of hope to all Told of the you, Republic. Agent, this but Jedi first, never fails. We have many obstacles to overcome. Together, we stand taller Shut than the any fuck obstacle. Up. Live. Let's get to work. Jesus Christ. Together. I don't care, Shoresh. You are very annoying. I told you, Agent. This Jedi never fails. My team came to assist you. We discovered the outpost was destroyed and assumed the worst. Can you tell us what happened? We have unconfirmed reports the Imperial Spymaster Watcher One is on Terrace. You'll find the bodies of Watcher One and all his men at an Imperial base in the swamp. Imperial base? I'll send a recovery team immediately. Dr. Godera, you're looking well, all things considered. Ready to come home? Depends. Are you ready to do what's right? I always was, and our time has finally come. Agent, bring Dr. Godera to Coruscant immediately. I'll brief him on the discovery at Ord Mantel. Contact me from your ship. Our Suthra out. Then this is goodbye. You saved my life. I owe you. I'd never have found you without your droid. The Imperials destroyed it, but I salvaged the memory core. Ah, Remo. One of my favorites. Thank you for salvaging his parts. Yes, I look forward to putting him back together. This time, give him a body that isn't so fragile. Excellent suggestion. He'd make a fine security droid. Working on Remo will make the long flight to Coruscant more bearable. Goodbye for now. I'm sure we'll see each other again. Greetings, my friend. The Holonets are filled with stories of your victory on Coruscant. Everything you achieved on Tython was only a prelude. You are becoming the greatest weapon the Jedi will ever know. When you executed Darth Engrel's son, I hope it was with the lightsaber I taught you to build at the Great Forge. I remain your most loyal comrade. May the Force be with you. Intriguing? General, Dr. Godera is on his way to you. I can only imagine what the Empire would have done with him if you hadn't been there. I'm also told you saved a Republic settlement from a Sith assassin. Those colonists were lucky you showed up. How did you wind up there anyway? The Imperial Spymaster warned me what the Sith was planning. Division in the enemy ranks? Interesting. Let's hope there's more to come. Your work here may be done, but this isn't over. A major tactical advantage has just opened up, but you have to act quickly. One of Darth Angrel's closest advisors, Admiral Hacklin, asked us for asylum. He wants to defect. Hacklin was with Angrel when he interrogated me on Ord Mantell. They seemed chummy. What changed? I'm not sure, but the Admiral is on the run. There are unconfirmed reports Hacklin's earned a death mark. One of Darth Angrel's top men turned traitor? It's too convenient. Exactly. This is obviously a trap. Hacklin wouldn't be the first high-ranking Imperial to switch sides. Until we know otherwise, we have to believe this is real. Kira obviously made an impression on the Admiral at Ord Mantell. He says he'll only surrender to her. I have a bad feeling about this. There's no time to negotiate. Admiral Hacklin's expecting you to, and no one else. I told him to wait for you at an old asteroid mining facility. I'm uploading the coordinates now. Surround this asteroid mine with Republic cruisers. If this is a trap, I don't want the enemy escaping. Too risky. 
The Admiral might mistake it for hostile action and bolt. The mining facility is small. If this is a trap, you won't be facing more enemies than you can handle. Be careful out there. Greetings, my friend. The Holonets are filled with stories of everything you achieved on Tython was only... Okay, that's weird. You're fine. Stand by for examination and suggested products. You are fit for duty. Return to your post. Greetings. I am Vallis. Your quick response is most appreciated. Please forgive the deception. Admiral Hacklin remains Darth Angrel's faithful servant. His name simply made this meeting convenient. He's a Sith. Kill him! Now, really, is that any way to treat your family? Family? Kira, you know this man? Don't listen to him. He's trying to confuse you. Us. Your Padawan isn't who you think. She's no Jedi. She's a child of the Emperor. Like me. And it's time she returned to our father's warm embrace. I've never heard of any Emperor's children. Who are you people? The Chosen Ones. Selected at birth to serve our father's great glory. A distinction we should wear with pride. Don't deny your true lineage. I'm not a Sith. Don't let him turn you against me. We can defeat him. Together. We have no quarrel, Jedi. Return to your ship and let Kira come home. The Emperor wills it. It doesn't matter where she came from. She's my Padawan. Tell our father not to expect any calls or letters. There's no escaping your destiny, Kira. Thanks to your little brush with Darth Angrel, the Emperor knows you're alive and where to find you. No matter where you go, Father sees you. He sees you right now. And he wants you back. I'd rather die than see him again. So be it, sister. There, good as new.
Thanks for sticking by me. I know this was a big shock, but I can explain. My parents were Sith, but the Emperor isn't my father. Child of the Emperor is just a title. I was taken from my parents when I was a baby. Raised in the Sith Academy with others like Vallis. It was... brutal. I can only imagine the pain you must have endured. Pain became normal. There were worse things. Every so often, the other children were taken to see our father. They came back different. Nobody ever remembered meeting the Emperor. One day, I realized I couldn't remember anything from the past week. They were doing the same thing to me. I'm starting to understand. You escaped the Sith, didn't you? Nobody treats me like a droid and gets away with it. I was still a child then. Small enough to stow away on a supply ship leaving Imperial space. Lived in lots of bad places until I met Master Coix. She brought me to the Jedi. Changed my life. Did you tell Master Coix about your past? No. How would I even begin? Uh, by the way, I was born a Sith. Is that a problem? I always knew sooner or later I'd have to come clean. Just hoped I could prove myself as a Jedi first. Now the Emperor knows where I am. The Sith will never stop hunting me. They'll take you over my dead body. I'm having a very inappropriate urge to kiss you. <laughs> but I won't. I'm ready to tell the truth. To Master Kowix, the Jedi Council, everyone. No more secrets. We should probably let the General know he's not getting his Admiral. The Admiral was never here, General. This was a trap. Last! I'm sorry for putting you in harm's way on a lie. It won't happen again. I'm afraid there's more bad news. Your Jedi Masters both missed their last two comm checks. That isn't like Master Coix. What planet did you send her to? Tatooine. Master Orgus went to Alderaan. I need you to find out what's happened to them and our weapon labs. Understood, General. But first, I need to consult with the Jedi Council on an important matter. More important than saving the galaxy from Darth Angrel? I'd like to know what that is. The Sith are after my Padawan. It's a long story. I'm sure it is, but we have no time to waste. Finish this business quickly. May the Force be with us all. Our Sith are out. Let's get this over with. Master Quix and Orgus need our help. I'll be meditating in my quarters. Let me know when we're at Tython. I'm not stopping this recording until I've reached uh, the point where I can go to Tatooine or the others. No, I know about the Jedi Counselor timeline. You'll live. I wonder if I'll see Sue Bacar.
know there's one around here somewhere that gives access to that thing, whatever it was. Hmm. I guess I don't see it. Master Satil, my mission has become more complicated. Masters Orgus and Kawix have disappeared. I'm headed for Tatooine and Alderaan to find them. But first, my Padawan has something important to tell you. Kira? I was born on Droman Kaz. My parents were Sith. Ooh, much easier the second time. There's more, obviously. I should hope so. Give me time to assemble the Council. Most of us are still off-world. And then my master convinced me to come here and tell you. That's pretty much everything. We've heard rumors about these children of the Emperor before. But this finally confirms their existence. Troubling that we never sensed the truth about Kira when Master Kuix brought her to us. That makes her especially dangerous. She can't be allowed to remain free. Kira's master should have a voice in this. What do you recommend? I brought her to you because I wasn't sure what to do. Our path is clear. The girl is dangerous. She lied to us. To allow her to remain a Padawan, become a Jedi Knight? It's inconceivable. Is it? Did we not first learn of the children of the Emperor from a Sith turn to the light? Master Braga speaks the truth. No one is beyond redemption. It was natural for you to fear our reaction, considering your upbringing. What's important now is that you leave your past behind and devote yourself to the Jedi. Can you do that? I've been trying to ever since Master Quix found me. Kira's a good Padawan. I trust her with my life. There you have it. I need no further proof of Kira's loyalty. Agreed. And I believe the best course of action is to leave Kira where she is. This is a mistake. If Master Quix were here, she'd tell you the same. Until she returns, this council's ruling stands. Kira is safest in your care. I appreciate you giving her another chance. I promise I'll make you all proud. Even you, Master Caden. You did well bringing this to us, but you should return to your mission. May the Force be with you on Tatooine and Alderaan. You'll live. I think I didn't notice the risk you took by standing up for me. I never felt this close to Master Kowix. Your support was... special. Anytime. I'm just glad we're staying a team. Thanks, I'll keep that in mind. Ready to go whenever you are, Master. And boom. 